R. R. Gomez <laughs> asks, uh, "What's good? Can you give advice about creating your fan base when you're starting into the media entertainment industry as a freelance? Because you know, like you're, you're different than the what people might think of as a uh, vine influencer boy. or a Vine boy. <laughs> exactly. You do editing. You do like your special effects are dope. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you do that shit. Yeah. Um, advice I would give is." Uh, just just kind of like shoot you know what i mean like just shoot everything you know and not you know network and do it with your friends do it with friends that like to do it as well mm-hmm. but i don't think there's any right or wrong way to do it because i see people pop off on their own mm-hmm. you know just solo just talking to the camera so as long as you're real with yourself and real with the people like you know it'll take off in time i feel you so yeah. who- Mm-hmm. I was going to say, I have a question about that. Cause you did mention you have a media background, like a mm-hmm. professional media background. Yeah. So we get kids a lot of the times, like talk to schools and everybody always asks like social media, that's all they want, right? They just see the social media yeah. aspect of it. So what would you tell them about before that? What did that training give you? Has, did any of that help you at all? Yeah. And no, it helped me a lot. Cause my goal was to work from behind the camera to get in front, but I just got really good behind the camera. I was like, mm-hmm. Oh wow. I didn't, I didn't realize this was something that I could actually do. Um, so yeah, it helped out a lot. So what helps me work with a lot of these companies is because I come from a traditional background. So now when they come to me, they get the one-stop shop. I'll do everything and then it'll look like it's really a TV commercial. Mm-hmm. So. Hmm. 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 Smart, hmm. Man. That's always <laughs> nice. That's always, we, we both recently got hit up for, um, to do a similar brand deal mm-hmm. at, at WonderCon. Yep. And, um, and I remember, and, and part of my brand deal was to vlog. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I was just telling him the other night, because we, we were at like this, this little event together, and I was like, bruh, I had to cut this part out of my vlog because he, he was telling me about a song he had just put out. What was the song? <laughs> Short Nigga Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this really professional email from, 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 from the brand. They're like, okay, can we have you cut out all the N-words? Um, um, they're like, can you cut out all the N-words and cut out all the... Uh, the uh, when you said uh, the f word and also like I was like <laughs> yeah. all right fine but I totally it's crazy because I figured they're gonna have me cut out the cuss words but then like it didn't even register for me when you were telling <laughs> about your song I was like oh oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably not <laughs> well so you working on music now then uh yeah no I've been doing like kind of comedy music for a while but uh, uh you know I throw it out here and there but you know it's it's for me it's like a hobby mm-hmm. you know I would love to do it like for real but it's it's a skill set, you know what I mean? So anybody that does it, I just really respect them. 